Oh, that was a close one, Keshi Heads, but it's all right. I've made it. I'm Craig Charles, and if you're anything like me, you don't mind dipping in and out of a bit of Japanese culture. So let's delve deeply into its treasures and entertain ourselves with another half hour of the game show that has Y written all over it. You know what it is. Coming up, we're knocking the sense out of Knock Knock. Spinning out in Mushroom Trip. Squaring up in the square maze. <laughs> and getting down in the uphill garden. Tuck it all in and zip it up. It's Takeshi's castle. Ooh, oh. <laughs> the general seems to have been abducted and replaced with an alien imposter. Or is it just his cousin? Specifically, dressed in a rubber suit. Regardless, we start off with 100 wild and ready warriors put through a series of mind-baffling physical challenges to weed out the best from the rest and have the chance to storm Takeshi's castle. We've had quite enough running and screaming, so let's hightail it to the slippery wall, which is the first up to separate the wheat from the chaff. The contestants need to harvest each other's skills and work together to make any sort of headway. Failing that, they could just scramble all over each other in the mud. There we go. Making a human rope there. I haven't seen this much collaboration since Vichy France. He's enjoying himself. Oh, right in the spuds. The contestants at the top, they're already through, trying to help their compatriots over the slippery wall. These slackers at the back don't seem to stand the chance. A hundred contestants, eh? only 88 go through, so you do the maths. Sliding down and over. Very athletic. It doesn't fall right in the teeth. Straight to the ridiculous replay. Supergirl, super shorts, super splash. Eighty-eight of our sanity challenge selectees are voluntarily stepping up for slip this. Any warrior who managed to claw their way through the last round must now face the impregnable bunker of Count Takeshi's elite Emerald Guard. Let's see who can make it through with their ring intact and prove themselves as a bona fide bunker buster. After all that squirting and squirming, I'm surprised there are any of our intrepid imps left. But 57 are ready to follow our rubber-clad renegades to the square maze. I'm still not sure who he is, but he seems to have done a fine job of sending our warriors into the clutches of the toga-clad terrorizers. The square maze. Abandon hope. All ye who enter here. Object of the game gets to the other side, avoiding the clutches of the guards. If you come out on dry land, you go through. A Japanese Al Johnson there, crying for his mammy. She's a bit too tentative here. The guards letting out loud yells to try and scare the wits out of the opposition. It's not hide and seek, love, come on, it's square maze. Oh, she makes a dash now, a mad dash. But oh no. She's been caught. Her face has been blackened. She's out of the game. And again, caught again. Yukin, he looks eager. Wrong door. Oh, nice turn of speed. He's through. Gotta be happy with that performance. That's right, lad. Speedy. 
Alarming turn of speed. She's through. I've picked this ridiculous replay of the evil black hand claiming another victim. 43 warriors escape the black hand and his red headed partner in crime. And now they raise a charge. Hell for leather. Into knock knock. Why do they go head first? You wowie. Right door. Right shoulder. Oh, head first through that one, but he's still standing. It's the honey monster. Ow. Ow. Dislocation. Confabulation. He won't get up in a hurry. No speed whatsoever, but she's choosing all the right doors. Tell them about the honey mummy. Oh, and the right door again. That could have been nasty if it wasn't. It's more luck than judgment, that. Come on, lad. Back into it. Ow. Yes. All the way through this lad. Oh, the mummy's got him! Oh. Lad, that was the right door. Oh! Wrong door. She's having trouble with the right one. I think she's pulled something. Ow! <laughs> Back to the happy farm. Oh, the honey monster's there. Ow! New ribs, please. <laughs> he's seen stars. It's the wrong goal, but he's, he's made it through. Carrying an injury now. Oh, are you sure? Oh, good luck. Is this one mad? Deserves to go through. After that initial battering, you've got to hand it to the fella, though. There's no messing with him. For my truly ridiculous replay, he's not the biggest warrior, and now he's even shorter. Coming up in part two, we've got the ultimate favourite, the Shin Shredder. Skipping stones. We've got Mushroom Trip. Welcome back. We've still got no idea who this guy is. We've got a dirty double dozen of dipsticks making it skipping stones. That's 24 contestants for those of you who bunk double maths. Lucky red pyjamas, always useful in skipping stones, packed full of shin-smashing shenanigans. Let's see if our remaining warriors can pop scotch off the hot spot and emerge unscathed. You've got to be faster than that, love. He slows down. Come on, lad, you can do it. Oh, he shows the wrong one at the end. And got it in the glasses. Oh! Ow! That looked painful, but he's still smiling. Took the wind out of his sails, though. Good recovery there. Oh, does the splits. Gets it in the face. Not happy. He got through. What kind of fashion statement was that? Oh, he's going already! Pulls it back. Ow! 
lands right on his back, bangs his elbow, grazes his knees, floundering in the water, searching for his dignity. Oh, this is far too tentative. I wish someone would emerge from the water and toss her off. Kind of defeats the object of the game. It's all a bit mealy-mouthed and mincy. Choose the wrong one, go on. No speed for the jump, though. Come on, you can do it. You're back into it, girl. Oh, that was pathetic! I'm glad she's out of the game. What a waste of space! Ow! Looks like his cruciate's gone there. Oh, oh cool, new ribs. Looks the wind of them, but he's recovered. And he's hanging on. Grim determination. Oh, he tried to claw his way out of the primordial soup! For my truly ridiculous replay, no balance, no clue, no chance. An unlucky 18 of our intrepid warriors managed to limp away from that round. But there's no let-up not on Takeshi's castle. There's no mercy as they face the uphill garden. The kamikaze kids off sick this week, so the evil triplets, who, what and why, have taken his place in the hot seat. <laughs> Smart bomb. Smart ass, more like. Dan Dare's even recruited the evil Knievel to make up for the losses. I'd tell you the odds of the game, but I don't think you'd really care. Let's just sit back and watch the carnage as our kamikaze cousins try and make it up the hill. Looks like an extra from the movie Tron. So that's not a real bike, then? Oh! Can he know? Spins out! Crashes out of the competition! Doesn't look like the kind of bike that can do off-roading well, though. Wrong tyres! <laughs> Jumping Jack Flash, it looks like it's Mick Keith and the little one who married Mandy Smith. Hope they've got sympathy for our warriors, cos they won't get much satisfaction if our street-fighting men make jumping jackasses out of the three of them. Singing as they go, a happy band of musicians. Protect your ring! The ring on their guitars. Very excellent shooting there. Shooting from the lip. Come by, army lord. Don't know what he's come as, but he looks suitably stupid. It's supposed to be a water fight, turn into a bit of a wrestling match. His ring is undisturbed, though. He'll be going through. A ridiculous replay. Knievel. I just can't figure out why he won't use the wheels. Thirteen curious contenders survived that vicious firefight, and they live to fight another round. This is bridge ball. And what a bridge balls up it is. This guy is so thin, he might fall through the net if he goes straight down. I'm sure the Elite Emerald Guard have got some stingers up their sleeves. But our warriors, this is a test of balance, physical strength, endurance, determination, and the ability to feel no pain. Oh, in the top of the thigh. Oh! Ball's banging off the backside there, but she's through. He came dressed for it. I'm not quite sure what it was, though, and he's out. Floundering in the net. Oh, this guy. Confidence. Is that arrogance? 
He's taken all the shots. The Emerald Guard can fire and still not going down. Got to be happy with that. Face on. Into the storm. And through again. Oh, this one's struggling now. Clinging on for dear life. Cannonballs banging off his helmet. They really need to aim for the ribs there, get him winded. Oh, right on the arm. This can't go on much longer, surely. It looks like he's there for the duration, though. He ain't going down without a fight. Can't seem to get the upper body strength to pull himself back up, though. Losing the grip with his feet. There he is. Perfect, ridiculous replay for you Keshi heads now. Back of the net. The skeletal crew of just nine Crusaders survived the bridge over the River Wye and now take their places at one of Count Keshi's most sickening spectacles. It's time to spin out on a mushroom trip. Object of the game. Hang on to the mushroom. No, not like that. You've got to hang on to the mushroom and make it across what I can only describe as a vat of mushroom soup. Oh, he spins out. He seems a fun guy. And he's doing well. <laughs> fun guy, brilliant. <laughs> Let's see what this chap can do. <laughs> he looked like he had a firm hold of his stalk. But he let go in the end. Into the soup. Out of the game. I'm probably quite happy with that. That was pathetic. She should get 100 lines. I will not be such a girly wuss again. This guy. He's gone. Holding on to his stalk there firmly with one hand. Oh! Spinning and spinning and spinning. Can he make it to the other oh. side? Yes, he can! Gotta be happy with that. Dizzy as hell, though. And my ridiculous replay, I doubt he'll remember. Round and round and round and in the sea. Only a piddling posse of Pacific Patriots have sobered up enough to charge onto the perils of a final fall. Quickly, quickly. Come on, come on. Our warriors must choose wisely. They have to throw themselves into one of the mystery swamps before them, two of which contain toxic chemical waste. The rest, candy floss and marshmallows. Now, you'd think the massive red flashing skull and crossbones above the relevant pits of despair would be a dead giveaway. But still, some of our wayward warriors don't seem to have cottoned on. I wouldn't like to be coming the other way at a set of traffic lights with any of this lot. It's purely a matter of luck, this now. After all the trials and tribulations, we've whittled our contestants down from 100 to just... A mere few. Out. I'll oh, say they said. Uh. Oh, another bad choice. What is wrong with these people? Come on, you can get it right now. You can get it right. Go for the first one. Oh, he's through. Ow. Hurt himself on the way down, though. He's through as well. So let's look back in anger at our furious flashback and see how our plucky pack of players have played themselves out and left only a fearless few for the final showdown.
out of the pipe and into the car park. Our four finalists are shown to their souped-up shopping trolleys by General Lee's karaoke cousin, specifically, and the random stranger in the rubber suit. I hope he tagged off well before he started. Now, they'll have to fend for themselves as they take on the elite Emerald Guard and lay siege to Count Takeshi's castle. The Emerald Guard, mightily accurate with their water cannon. Of course, our contestants have to protect their paper rings at all costs. If their ring gets penetrated, they're out of the competition. They've come so far. Oh, he's gone. And not happy, so is he. Would you believe it? We've got one contestant left. And he's gone. No winners this time on Takeshi's Castle. But we'll see you next time, hopefully with ladies' favourite General Lee. Sayonara, Keshi Head. Apparently you win a million yen if you manage to beat the Emerald Guard and actually win Takeshi's castle, but unfortunately the yen is more in common with the old Italian lira than the good old pound. Up next, the Crystal Maze. Ooh.